Hey guys, Charlie here with another tutorial on Substance Designer 5 and today I'm going to be looking at how to make this uh, kind of wet rained on concrete floor. Um, alternatively, if you don't really want it wet, you can just uh, turn it off and I'll show you how to do that throughout the tutorial. So, I know I said I'd be doing a painted wood or a tiled uh, material uh, but I, I was just playing around and I came up with this last night so I thought I might as well do this instead uh, but don't worry there will be a painted wood and a tile uh, video coming along after this one I promise I will do it so I guess for now I'm just gonna go on with this so first off we'll just go over the, the graph I mean, just zooming out, and we'll make this a bit smaller so we can just play around the view a little bit more. There we go. Cool. So, you know, this is the node node graph at the moment. It's uh, a little bit more complicated than the uh, the diamond plated metal flooring that we did in the last video. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, that'll that'll be on my channel. I'll also put a link to it in the description and also in the video. Uh, it should be somewhere around here. You know, up here. Um, you know, just a little bit of a pointer for me when I'm editing. Um, so you can go and watch that if uh, if you want. It also involves a lot of the basics that you would like to know about Substance Designer. So if you uh, are new, then you can go and look at that video and it will guide you through the basics. But for now, uh, we won't cover any of the basics, being that's in that video. We'll just get on with this one. So, yeah, this is the node graph at the moment. It's a little bit more complicated, but really, and honestly it is a lot simpler than it looks uh, and I guess to prove that we'll just get straight on with it so what we want to do I'll just save that as it is just make sure it didn't go anywhere save there we go cool we'll just go substance new substance and graph name we'll just call it uh, concrete tutorial and we'll make sure it's physically based we'll go to size mode absolute and width and height we'll just keep that at 2048 and don't worry about the format we'll click OK and we will get left with this so you know standard we've got the base color normal and roughness and metallic what we're going to do to start off with we're just going to do some of the basic nodes just so we can start off quite clean so we'll just stick a black uh, uniform color into the metallic because it's concrete it is not metallic uh, the roughness we'll just stick a just for the time being anyway we'll just stick a grey node in there just so it's a little bit a little bit rough it's not too much of an issue I'm just going to be using it just for you know preview sake won't worry about the normal just yet and we'll stick a uniform colour into the uh, base colour uh, node so there we go we'll just make this little bit kind of that'll do no, that's fine we'll leave that out we won't dock it because we need to get rid of these two in a bit anyway so first off what we'll start off with is going to be the normal map uh, because that's where most of the well pretty much all of the uh, definition is going to come for the concrete so what I used was a, a variety of different instance noise nodes and uh, blended them together so what we'll do we'll start off with getting crystal one we'll get crystal one in then we'll go to dirt and we'll grab a dirt dirt two dirt two will do and next we'll get some black and white spots uh, go two why not and we'll go with a cloud map for the last one so where's the clouds there we go, clouds two, that'll do. So here we have our main nodes that we'll be using. So what we'll do first off is we'll blend them together. So we've got blend, get the dirt and the crystal together, and we'll make that one a screen. Uh, down, 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 there we go, screen. Spacebar, blend, there we go. And this one we're gonna change to uh, overlay cool right so we have these all sorted now we'll just blend them together again 
There we go. And this one we're going to change to, no, not the Alpha Blend, we want to change this to Max Lighten. Right, so this is our basis for the normal map of the concrete. So what we have now is the normal node in, and just for now we're just going to plug it in to see how it looks. So let will just make it a little bit bigger just so we can see. So yeah, it's not too bad. It's bumpy, ridgy, looks alright. It's not too too awful to look at, but it needs breaking up a bit. So what we're going to play with next is just going to be the colour. So the initial breakup is going to come from actually looking at the base colour of the material. So we won't get rid of it, but we'll just delete the link to the base colour node and we shall get another blend node in, hook that up, uh, get another uniform color in, and hook that up, make this color. We'll just go to pick there, and we'll pick from that, make it roughly the same, a little bit darker. And we'll just dock these two because we're not really going to be using them other than for color. And then from here, we'll just grab a black and white spot three we'll go three and we'll hook that up to the opacity and double click and here you can see it's just a little bit of a break up in the in the color you know it just helps drag the eye around the surface a little bit more so we'll just plug that in so yeah that's that's helped it a little bit it's given it a little bit more of uh, you know differentiation across the whole thing right so next we need to, I guess, give it a better roughness map. So what we can do is we can initially just, from this node here, we'll just delete that. It's going to be really, really shiny now. Yep. And we'll just get a levels node in. So where is it? Levels, 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 levels. There we go. And we'll drag this one and put it into a levels. and. There we go. Right, so it's a little bit shiny. We just need to play around with the levels a little bit on it. So I'm going to drag it up. Don't want it too kind of bland. We might have a little bit of a shine in places. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. That's not too bad. And that'll, that'll keep for now, but we'll be changing up in a bit anyway. So we'll just move the normal node over here as well. And now what we'll do is we'll start getting the water in so what we can use is a grunge map a grunge map is a good way to get the kind of uh, puddled effect so whichever one we want to use i guess we can use i used seven so we'll go with seven again just for tutorial purposes and we'll attach a levels node to it there you go and we want it to affect not only the roughness and the normal but we also want it to affect the base color because where the water is going to be on the concrete it is going to be a little bit darker it's going to be kind of stained from the water so it is going to be darker now i know obviously we've changed up the color a little bit we've added a little bit of differentiation into the actual base color itself but we want to add a little bit more from where the water is onto the texture so We'll start off by affecting the base colour, and what we'll do, we shall just add another blend node in, like that, and we'll hook the levels node from the, the grunge map, and we'll put it into the opacity, and we'll add a, another uniform colour, and hook that up, dock it, just so it's out the way, and we'll play with the colour a little bit, so we'll just take from that don't want it to be too dark just want it we want it to be just just close to what there we go that'll do that's cool right and yet again we want to add a, another uh, blend node in I'm gonna go right there and this time we'll add another we'll add a invert it's not on that list is it so we'll add an invert grayscale in just here because we have the pulls here but we don't want it to be uh, the 
opacity for this color. We want it to be inverted so the puddles come across as darker as opposed to the outer area of the puddles coming darker. So they'll come across a lot easier once we get the uniform color in. Again, look that up. So just we'll keep it at black just for now, just to prove the point. So if we take this out, delete and relink, it will swap that over. But the thing is, this black area is all going to be the water. Now we don't really want that because that's that's quite a lot of water. And even if we take down the levels, it doesn't quite get rid of it, and it just kind of sharpens the puddles up a bit. And even all the way over to the white, it's not quite there. What we want to do, we want to change that by adding the invert in and put that there. Cool, right. So now we have a little bit more of a controlled puddle area. So it's not all over the place and we can just go with... It tightens up a little bit, but it still looks a lot better. It looks a lot more controlled. And I mean, the further we get over to the white side, the more puddle we have. But that's okay because I'll be reflected better into the uh, into the roughness as well. So we'll change that from black and we'll make it a. I'm going to pick. I want it to be quite a dark version of that. That'll do. That's not too bad. Yeah, we'll keep it like that for now anyway. Right. So we have it affecting our base color, which is good. Now we need it to actually affect our normal, and also we need it to affect our roughness. So we'll just move these over here, and from this one, from these two nodes here, the levels and the blend, we'll just add another blend, we'll add that, and throw the blend node into that blend node, and also we'll add a blur, and we'll hook that up to the normal. So we don't want it too strong, so we'll go the blur and we'll change the intensity a bit mm, maybe a bit tighter actually we'll make it 1.05 that'll do 1.05 is a good one we'll keep it there and we'll move that over a little bit now we're going to get it to affect the uh, the roughness map. So we'll keep this levels node here because we're going to need that when we start switching in between uh, the wet concrete and the dry concrete. So from here we'll add a levels node wherever that is again there we go keep losing it hook that up and here is where we want to get the uh, switch node so type in switch and you have a variation of switch nodes, multi-switch, uh, multi-switch grayscale, switch color, and switch grayscale. And you've got the material switch as well, but we won't go into those. We'll just take the switch grayscale and put that in. So just put input 1 into that, and input 2 into there on the switch node. There you go. And just before we, we plug it in, just going through the actual parameters of this uh, switch node, pretty simple you just have a button that says true or false and depending on which one you have in which input depends on what you get there you go so we'll just hook that up and that is the water that's, that's quite a lot of water and it's not quite what we wanted so what we'll do we'll just drag that down a bit I think we need to play with our blend node a little bit more, as a uh, blur node even a little bit more. So yeah, we need to play with it a little bit more. Got a levels node again, and we'll just start playing with it a bit. So that is it's where we want it to be, but I'll tell you what, we'll turn it up to 0.5. Ah, that's better. I turned it down too low. So that's roughly what we're looking at. So maybe turn it up a little bit more to I don't know, point, uh, point 0.7. We'll go point 0.7 and see what that does. That's not too bad. So. It's 
it's looking a little bit blotchy. I'm not sure why. It's it matches everything else I've done. Um, maybe we should change the levels up a little bit. There we go. Change that. And what's what's this one set to? It's set to copy. Um, what we could do, we could probably change that to multiply. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. That's it. That's that's not too bad. That's that's pretty close. Uh, I think it's just coming off the grayscale a little bit. So maybe we should change the grayscale here. We'll, we'll put it all the way up to kind of like a, a very white, very distinct kind of white color. So there we go. That's better. Much better. So now we can play around with the levels a bit more on this, on the main levels node. And we'll start getting a bit more of a better puddle look to the concrete. And again, as I said, if you don't really want it, then you can just switch it. And it's dry. It's got a little bit too dark. Maybe we could just change that a bit. Let me just lighten it up. That's not too bad. Make it a little bit. And play with the verticality of it. Make it a little bit darker. Only a tiny bit. Yeah, that would do. That would do. Cool. Right, so that is it. That is uh, the kind of damp, wet concrete or dry concrete, whichever one you prefer. And that is how you make the material for it. Like I said guys, uh, in the last video, if you have any comments or critique for the material itself, feel free to uh, write away in the comments. And uh, you know, subscribe for more videos because I will be doing some more tutorials as I go along. As Like I said, it is a learning process, not just for you but also for me, so I'm kind of taking this as a go. But you know, if we can all learn together then it will be quite beneficial. Right, cool guys, that is it for now. Uh, I'll be back next time hopefully with a tile uh, a tile material for you and we can play along with that as well but for now guys that is it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time